analyze the biomedical data to extract key features that could be used as parameters for the Lissagis curves. This could include frequencies, amplitude ratios, or phase differences between different components of the signal. Use signal processing techniques like Fourier analysis to identify dominant frequencies that could correspond to the A and B parameters in the Lissagis formula. Calculate phase shifts or other relevant metrics that could be used as the phase delta parameter. Well, just the crazy idea of uh, potentially reviewing EG and ECG data in the shape of Lissagius curves that look like this. Don't think anyone have tried this before. This provides a versatile learning tool where users can see how standard Lissagius parameters generate curves and how curved from actual biomedical data might differ. Suppose the biomedical data consists of two related EG signals with varying frequencies and phase relationships over time. By performing a Fourier transform, you can identify the dominant frequencies of these signals. You could then, then map these frequencies to the A and B uh, parameters of the Lissagis curves. If there's a consistent phase lag between these two signals, it could serve as the delta pe parameter. The resulting Lissagis curve would visually represent the interaction between these two frequencies and their phase relationship, offering a unique way to conceptualize complex interactions in EEG data. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, currently, we only have the the curves themselves. You can change uh, parameters. Yeah, but like how uh, this one looks. Pretty nice. Yes, yeah, so all these tools will eventually appear on bionicchaos.com, so go check it out and don't be shy. Leave comments, questions, complaints. Yeah, eventually we want to visualize uh, biomedical data with this. Okay, this is actually updating when we're changing the values. It should This number should be going uh, negative as well. In this visual from your application, you have a web interface that allows users to input parameters for generating Lissajous curves. Here's what's happening and how it reflects the application's functionality. Breakdown of the interface and visualization. One, in input parameters. A controls the frequency of the sinusoidal function along the x-axis. In this example, it's set to four. B controls the frequency along the y-axis set to one. The delta Todd determines the phase shift. It's currently set to zero, meaning there is no phase difference between the sinusoidal functions. To generate Lissagis curve button. When clicked, it triggers the function to calculate and display the Lissagis curve based on the given parameters. Three, Lissagis curve visualization. The plot shows a Lissagis curve resulting from the current settings. Since A equals four and B equals one with delta equals zero, the curve forms a pattern that repeats every time the sine wave in the x direction completes four cycles while the one in the y direction completes one. This results in an elongated sinusoidal pattern stretched along the x-axis. Research and development. Uh, data collection and analysis. Use the application as a tool for collecting and analyzing data in research studies. Researchers could use the visual feedback from Lissagis curves to hypothesize relationships in biomedical data and test these hypotheses through further experiments. Okay, more specifically, can we use it to compare two EEG channels or a combination of uh, left versus right brain hemispheres recordings. Absolutely. Using Lissagis curves to compare two EEG channels, such as recordings from the left and right hemispheres of the brain, is a particularly insightful application. This approach can highlight differences in brain activity between the two hemispheres, which is crucial for understanding brain symmetry, functionality, and potential abnormalities. Specific applications for comparing EEG channels using Lissagis curves. One, Symmetry analysis. Brain functionality. By comparing EEG signals from the left and right hemispheres using Lissagis curves, you can visually assess the symmetry in brain activity. Asymmetrical activity can be indicative of neurological conditions or localized brain responses to the cognitive tasks. Real-time monitoring. 
This could be particularly useful in real time during neurological procedures or in clinical settings where monitoring the balance of brain activity is critical, such as during surgery or recovery from cerebral injuries. DAR2, Cognitive and Behavioral Studies, Cognitive Load, uh, different tasks may activate various parts of the brain differently. Lysergus curves can help researchers and clinicians visualize how cognitive load affects each hemisphere. Behavioral response. In behavioral studies, comparing the activity of both hemispheres for given stimuli can provide insights into how different types of stimuli, visual, auditory, etc., are processed by the brain. Three, diagnosis of neurological disorders. Epilepsy. Fluctuations in Lysergus curves might help in identifying the onset of epileptic seizures, which often start in one hemisphere before spreading. The curves can provide a clear visual representation of the anomaly starting point and its propagation. Stroke and other conditions. Lysergus curves can help in early detection of abnormal brain activity patterns typical in stroke victims or in patients with other neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. Delta D should definitely be from minus one to one, so you can change a phase. That's the phase. Um, the Lysergus curve you're seeing is an intricate figure of eight pattern oriented horizontally. The specific pattern and orientation, horizontal elongation with two vertical loops per horizontal loop, are directly influenced by the input frequencies and the phase shift. Adjusting these inputs will change the number and shape of the intersections as well as the general form of the curve. This particular setup with higher frequency along the x-axis and a significant phase lead in the y component creates a visually dynamic and complex pattern, making these settings useful for demonstrating the effects of frequency ratio and phase difference in periodic functions. In practical terms, if this were an educational or diagnostic tool analyzing EEG or ECG signals, such variability in the curves could help highlight differences in signal periodicity, elf synchrony between different brain regions or heart chambers, and other critical physiological phenomena. Practical applications. Beyond education, this tool can be adapted for more practical applications such as analyzing biomedical signals, where understanding the phase and frequency relationship can provide insights into normal or pathological states in biological data such as E or EEG or ECG recordings. By comparing the Lysergus curves generated from different brain regions or heart chambers, clinicians and researchers can infer functional asymmetries or detect abnormalities. This intuitive user interface, combined with the mathematical elegance of Lysergus curves, makes this application a versatile tool for both educational purposes and practical signal analysis.